Morning everybody, Jason, PJ, Hollis Farms. Just breaking daylight. It is wet, it's nasty. Supposed to get some more rain. I think most of it later this afternoon. Oh, warmed up a bunch. Oh, I know the cold weather ain't over with, but it's a little warmer today. Get out, get out. Oh, I'm trying to get back in the habit. Went over to the barn this morning and uh, worked out on my elliptical machine just for a little bit. Don't want to push it right off the bat and get all too sore and wore out and quit. I just got to get back in the mood and get back. I got to get back in shape, especially before turkey season gets here because I know I will quit. I won't take the time to uh, do it during turkey season. Get down. She thinks I'm talking to her. But anyway, I've got me a little bit of breakfast, something to eat. And uh, we're going to see what we can get done today. Feel like I've been filling feeders for a month. I'm getting very close to having them all topped off. But boy, it is one of them wet, humid, nasty days down here. Alright y'all, so I just pretty much about got through with my feeder feeling. I had to, like I was talking about my back the other day, it's been really good. Uh, I have to watch it. Uh, I can tell when it starts getting sore, ain't no need pushing it. Uh, so I just decided to cool it. Each one of them tubs a hundred pounds, so they're not, they don't feel that heavy. It's just, it's just strain on that back. I ain't no need pushing it hurt my back. So I have loaded up this dog right here now. I want y'all to know, I love this dog. This sun gun right here is crazy. She's gotten a habit. I got a, a, one of those wire kennels that I leave her inside the barn sometimes. When I close the, go to close the door, son, she is biting and just crazy and then the habit she's got into now is when i get out to open the gate and get out to close it back and all that sun gun's barking and growling at me and just she got so excited a while ago when i went to jump out she grabbed my arm and bit down them needles she's got for teeth and i knocked her back across the truck but this thing right here is wired up now. You can just tell. Uh, like I've said before, I'm not gonna knock her down too far, but it's time for her to learn. But if we can get all this energy pointed in the right direction, this is gonna be a bad little dog. I mean, you can just tell. She ain't gonna hardly be no lap dog. Of course, I don't really want no lap dog, but she'll settle down as she gets older a little bit, but man if we can get her pointed in the right direction on that i want to use her for blood tracking that's just that's just what i want to do because she'll always be with me and uh i was thinking the other day i am uh, i'm riding through the refuge a lot of people come out here and bird watch and stuff this is the Knoxby county Knoxby. what do they call it Knoxby wildlife refuge whatever they call it I think this is what they call Bluff Lake. It's a pretty place over here. There's a lot of ground to hunt over here. I've never fooled with it. I've never, I talked to somebody the other day that duck hunted it, but I've never, I've never hunted on it. Like a lot of people come out here, they fishing right here. A lot of people come out here and do some bird watching and stuff. Uh, bird watching and walking and I ought to come over here and check it out deer hunting, but we got, I'd rather be on the river, but oh. Uh, Anyway, what I am doing, this is a shortcut for me to get to start with. Uh, when we started back bow hunting really hard last year, I got the, the uh, mission hammer bow, kind of start back, make sure my shoulder was gonna stay in shape with plans of getting the, uh, the Davis Matthews they got out. And I played with the monster song uh, I've gotten so used to the short axle to axle on the mission. And uh, I think this new one they got out now is called a. Uh, just kind of looking. I like right through here. It's pretty. It's called the VX3, I think. So I'm headed over here to 
the uh, Owens Outfitters Slade over here and uh, check one out. I kind of looked briefly the other day when I was over here getting a pair of rubber boots. Uh, it's not but a, it's going to take me but a minute to get through the red dudes and get over here to the shop. So <clears throat> I'm going to go over here and check this out. We'll let Slade tell us about this boat. Uh, they're high. Golly, every, but everything's high these days. But anyway, I'm going to probably end up, I don't know, I may sell the, the monster boat. And uh, and uh, check on this BX3, but me and PJ is headed that way. This son gone rowdy now. I love this dog. She is she is rowdy, and I like it. What did it say at uh, 27 and a half inches of draw up to? Uh, what are they calling this one? The Prima. Prima. And that's they're calling it the woman's boat. Well, I mean. Man, yeah. I don't care. I don't either. I, I don't. I like the it makes feel. Makes no difference. And I, I've had some guys who don't really like that, but they don't bother me. What? That, that ain't even pink. No, no. All right, we're we're making I, decisions, y'all. I'll take me a sharpie to that. I won't do nothing but rub a briar on it. Now this is kind. Of, the slave's changing my mind, y'all. This is the. They call it the Prima. 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 All right, this is the Prima. Matthews. They're calling this the new woman's bow, and the reason they call it the woman's bow is because, was it go up to 60, 60 pounds? pounds. Yeah. Okay. Now this is your new V3. V3, Matthews. And it goes to 75. 75. Basically the same length. Well, the V3 it's, shorter. Uh, yeah, this one's Ooh. 27. I think this, I'd have to look. I think that bow's 30. Man. But there's not what we figured just then on speed difference. Twenty very feet. Close. Yep. Was it twenty? Yep, very close. And they're getting all this speed out of them short brace heights. And there's the missions over there. Nothing wrong with them, but we're gonna get serious. How about that kickstand on that? That's perfect for turkey hunting. They make it for the for this boat too. Yeah. Golly, I like that right there, Slay. I like them. That's, what <laughs> That's I mean. sweet right there now. All right, y'all, I have got the Matthews Prima. We just stuck an old rest on here. It ain't just noisy as heck. And I can't draw it without it knocking up the air off. Kind of like we used to have to shoot. Yeah, and this release has got me all jacked up. All right, I got it now. This thing's quiet when you, when you, uh, Besides the rest. That thing's smooth, Slay. Slip. Walk out there and see this. It's a GoPro. It's not a GoPro. Osmo action. Really? That thing's bad. It don't have no good GoPro got to get kick up. God, you try. You do a video, you beat that video dog, I ain't get home, I ain't gonna slam. Wonder why. Just, bro. Just go, bro. Well, if I want one, you 50 pounds. Yeah. I mean, you need another two inches of draw. Right, right. Of course. All right, now we got a uh, V3 out. He's checking to see what the pound was. 64, you handle it? I can pull it back today. I don't know if I just don't know if I want to hunt with that no more. Now, you know, we could get it down. If you put 60 pound mods on it, okay, so these go in 60s, 65s, 70s, and 75s. So if we put 60 pound mods on it, right. then we could back it down to 55, 58 pounds easy. What, it's on 64? 64, 64, yeah. You're going to really like the draw cycle. Ooh! Oh, it don't hold back good, though. To so me, not like that. Well, it's a different draw length, too. Fitting it out. Yeah. Boy, it just feels good. And that's basically beside the sights, all we lacking for setup thing. As far as weight, mm -hmm. that's yep. all this bone's mm -hmm. lacking. Well, your quiver, but you probably take your quiver off. Right? I do. Yeah, that's okay. I am supposed to shoot odd down now. Up? Uh, Up? Oh. Yeah, but it's okay on that wrist. 
Step out here so you don't know. Golly, that thing pulls back hard. Yeah, it's a little long for you, too. It don't, it don't have to. You got the same lead off as that one? 85, yeah. No, no, no. Look, man. 14 pounds difference in the that's true in the draw way so i ain't sure i ain't sure that's uh right now well i gotta put my release on yeah. all right yeah. all right y'all yeah. we got the v3 out we have got it cranked down to what 58 pounds at 27 inches that's more my draw. draw length 27 27 and a half we're gonna see what this feels like a lot of people watch my videos talk about my spit <laughs> Literally, yeah, I tell them don't watch. <laughs> they they laughing right now. Someone's they think it's nasty. They need to watch another channel. All right, this on fifty-eight. Yeah. All right, feels like let off. Now we got to draw length right. That's a beast. So this time, draw it back and and try to let it down. Okay. But go easy. So don't don't just. Let it jerk you go. Okay. Draw it back and go easy. What do these have? 85% let off? 85s, yep. 85. I like that release. You get used to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So draw back, keep your finger off the trigger. Let off? Yeah. Do it again, but do it slower. You trying to pull my shoulder? No, nah, right? but but I mean the string will almost now. Nah, it's almost feels like the string will go slack, you know? Yeah. Man, that's nice. I ain't sure day in and day out that 50 pounds wouldn't be better. Your shoulders, so you going to, you and you, you and mine. You oh, I know. The, you, you're in the same bind I am. I know. I mean, that, we need about an inch shorter draw. And so your shoulders here, same way mine is. Right. Because you, I can't get mine back there. Yeah. But if, if you could get your shoulder there. Yeah. Then. That's right. Again. Yeah, you'd be good. What is, what is, uh, you reckon I need to go down to that 50 pounds? Well, I mean, I mean, I ain't scared of it. But look, I can make myself, your shoulder needs to get here at a 90. Is the draw length long enough for me to do that right now? Or I just oh, yeah. You just ain't getting there because you can't. Okay. Boy, we all go out. Slave played ball. We didn't know it, but we played ball against each other. We didn't know it till a year or so ago. All right, so see how forward your shoulder is? Yeah, so it, the shoulder needs to come on back. What about if the draw length was long? We'll push your arm out a little bit, but you yeah, just I'm can't. Not, I'm pulling in. It don't yeah. bother me that way. But does it not? No, I think the draw length needs to be a little longer. What do you want? Shoot it. What do you think? No, I don't, I don't think you need to be any longer. All right, y'all had a pretty good day today. Slopped in the mud for a while, fooling with the feeders. Went over and spent a been a while with Slade. Always enjoy going over there. Looked at the two uh, different bows. I believe for me the uh, V3, Matthews V3. Is that right? I keep wanting to say VX3. I think it's just a V3. Uh, studying on that real hard right now. But uh, anyway, uh, had a good time. Slade actually carried me out to lunch. We uh, we don't get to. We usually end up there talking, but we've got to get away for a little while and go sit around and. Uh, eat lunch for just to actually went to sonic ate in the truck had a good time but uh anyway gonna be some stuff going on over there and possibly tomorrow uh, we'll just have to see uh y'all know i always got a bunch of crazy ideas but i just i like doing them and uh i like uh, i'm happy to be back at the bow hunting and shoulders feeling good slade's got bad shoulders and uh that's why one reason i like dealing with him because he goes through a lot of the same things i go through so uh that uh helps helps me work through them but anyway lot nice to have somebody local that you can deal with like that but anyway i am just about i got to call it a day and uh anyway had a good time over there with slade and uh probably be back over there pretty soon appreciate y'all watching out of here